Hey everybody, welcome to the busy season in-house review video. Let's check in, let's learn what we experienced this busy season, and let's see what we can do to take our knowledge and turn next season into what I call a non-event. Just another part of the year. There's no stress, it's just kind of work it through. It might be a little bit busier than other parts of the year, but it's really a non-event, really doesn't affect your life in any way. And that's something all CPAs and accounting professionals should strive for. And it can happen with the proper planning and the proper expectations and the proper mindset. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. I have some notes here. I usually go through a list of about 30 questions that I go with my one-on-one -on -one clients. We're, we're really diving in deep and we're looking at what we can do to to change the process of our factory, or, or you might call it a, a firm, and how we can get everything to move through as easy as possible. So let's go through some of my top questions. I have the list here. Number one, what is the best improvement from last year? Let's keep it simple. Do you have a comparison? Did it feel like just like all the other years? Or was there a major improvement? Or was there a major change in the opposite direction? Think that through, write it down. Did your cycle or your turnaround times change in any way? Were you able to get through the return faster? Was your team working faster? Examine that one and perhaps find some bottlenecks and other things that you might want to examine and put into place. Do you need another kind of software tool? Do you need more people? Think that one through for next busy season. Here's probably the most important one of all. What was your rate of do-overs or restarts? How many returns did you have where it kind of just went right through the factory? One shot, you picked up a return, and you kind of got it done. And yes, at the end, there was some kind of review, and you probably had to stop it there. But did you have to do what I call a do-over. And that means that you get the return, you start working the return, and now you have to stop. You have to go back to your client to get some kind of materials that you probably should have had in the first place, but yet you had to stop, and now it's gonna take another days or maybe weeks to get back to that return and back into the flow of that. Here's an important question too, next one. How do you use your extension management? Is it like a last minute Hail Mary? Or was it an effective tool for you to use to manage client expectations? Did you have even a deadline date? Do you force your clients to either get the materials done on time or by a specific date they go on automatic return or have to pay some kind of fee in order to make sure that you take the time to get their return in because it's really going to change how your factory is being run so that's a great question and along with the extensions this is probably something important because you're going to have to manage your life work balance how are you going to take all your extensions and not wait until last minute and turn it into another busy season somewhere in the fall where you got to do it all last minute because you've been enjoying the summer. Now all of a sudden, hey, I never got to my extensions. So how are you going to manage that extension season? These are just some of the questions you should be reviewing with you, yourself, and your team to make next busy season a non-event. I'm Bill Bayless for CPA Power. And remember, create success on purpose.